Uh, my name's Karen Wetzler and I'm the principal of Cranley School. And we've got beautiful students um, with students who have a range of abilities and disabilities. Uh, we've got 88 students and we have a fabulous staff, very professional, very committed, very passionate about what they're doing. Yeah. I'm Annie Thackway and I'm a learning support assistant here. We cater for children three years old through to about 12 years old. So early childhood through to the end of primary school. And it's a special school for children with intellectual disability and some of those children will have cerebral palsy, some have autism spectrum disorder. For all our children, communication is a big, is a big focus. I think about 90% of our children would be non-verbal or have um, great difficulties with their communication. So that's a big focus of what we do. Each child is individual, so we need to look at them as individuals and see where they're at, where they're at and what they need to help them communicate best. We work very closely with our speech pathologists and they help us with assessment and, and working with the children. They need to have a voice. I think it's part of being human to, to be able to communicate and so I think it's just as important for someone with a disability as someone without a disability to be able to, to have a voice and to be heard. The, with the visual um, program that we've got is to really grow their language, grow their confidence and um, and help them with their speech so that not only do their parent you know sometimes it's just their mum or dad understands them often their teachers understand them very well because they know them but we want everyone to be able to understand them. We adopted a, a non-verbal pictorial system using um, board maker pictures and they're just little symbols that the children can can point out what they want to say or we can point out what we're saying so that they can better comprehend what we're saying. The growth has been huge and for some of our, our other children it's been, um, you know, now I can ask for some help which is, is a pretty important thing to be able to ask for. And, and this is what's called a core vocabulary so they're really important words that empower the child to have some control over their environment and I see parents struggling. Um, single parents who have other children um, and who have to fight for everything some respite care, for some care at home, um, it's a constant battle for them. And we worry about what will happen to, our, to these children when they leave school. What will they do? A lot of them um, are capable of some supported employment. Uh, I have seen, I've, wor I've worked in the high school area and I've seen parents have to give up their jobs and stay home and look after their children because there's nowhere for them to go and it breaks my heart. Well, I've also seen, seen students, you know, be gainfully employed and love their jobs and have friends and live in a house with some support and, you know, they're the wonderful success stories that we need to hang on.